Today we played two matches in the space of three days. It's too close. It doesn't need to be that close. We've literally got so much time. Okay, we don't need this. So it's going to be a back-to-back -back special. By which I mean there's just going to be two games very close together. But I've, I've tried to judge it up a bit. We might as well just call this episode Rotation. Because we're going to have to pick and rotate. Right, first game, let's do it. Folks, welcome back to the Sulfur Story. It's me, Ben. How are you doing? Everything okay? Good. Welcome. So we're back rolling with the Sulfur Story. Episodes every day till the end of the week. Yeah, I'm promising it. There it is. It's out there. Right then. Uh, since we last met in our 2-1 victory over Porto in the Champions League, we've had a, uh, well, quite a humbling defeat to Everton. 3-1 the result was. Um, Sergio got a goal, but it wasn't enough. We were 3-0 down at half time and never really recovered. Kovalev picked up a slight knock, but it's fine for today's match. And uh, that really leads me to show you the league table. It's... Not bad, but with eight games to go, we are a point behind Chelsea and know that we have some big games coming up. If I just show you the fixture list once again, you can see that final three game uh, period, almost final five game period, uh, Tottenham, Aston Villa, Chelsea, Manchester United and Liverpool. And of course, if we continue in the Champions League, that's going to get even more congested. So that's going to be exciting. Is exciting the word? Might be. Right then, uh, without any further ado, Stoke and Reading today. Let's show you today's team. Right then, folks, this is how we look. Renan, Oliveira, Hessing, Bamba, John Lewis, the shop uh, at the back. Hessing's going to come in from Francis Quino. Just, just give him a go. Give him a go. He, he loves it there. Fulmar on the left, Caselli on the right, Kovalev behind, David Manso, Vidal, Sergio in the midfield too. Oli Bang is injured, Marky Park is injured, Casper is injured, as is Jule Menga, so the rotation episode is hindered slightly by just that. But hopefully today will do just fine i might give a chance uh, perhaps to alan mckenzie today that could be a moment for us all alan mckenzie he's growing nicely okay stoker down in 16th so we've got a relatively easy game today lefer i feel like lefer has been part of this save for a while now we've seen his name an awful lot he's been at arsenal manchester united and at stoke uh summon lefer it just sounds good aside from that there are there's not well there's not a single name that i recognize time is a cruel mistress okay the team talk's gone okay we'll just we'll just zhuzh it up a bit i've used the word zhuzh twice in the first three minutes of the episode not something i do normally okay then we've got to get back to winning ways after the defeat to everton who are a mid to top table side uh we we need we need a win today we need two wins today and with the closeness of the matches it's going to be interesting if we just take a quick look at the, a quick look at the league table while the attack uh continues you can see arsenal down in 12th place not having a good season at all manchester united were having an even worse season but have uh, pulled it back a little bit as we go forward here caselli on the right hand side a good challenge by valk um and apart from that the league table's pretty familiar to what you'll be seeing normally i guess the the big Shock there is, uh, oh well, Feldmeyer scored a lovely goal, a lovely first touch to get out of his feet. Uh, Nightingale Forest up in fifth, who obviously we played last episode, but yeah, some interesting results there. Uh, Bristol Rovers in the Premier League as well, really the only standout side that you wouldn't ever expect to be there. Um, no offense, Bristol Rovers fans, but you know. Oh, Fidel with a back heel, it was a lovely back heel, and the touch from Feldmeyer, two touches of absolute brilliance. The back heel from Fidel, I mean, shall we take a, another quick look at that because it was delightful to see. Sergio plays it into Vidal. I mean, the vision on this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Feldmeyer, lovely touch out of his feet and puts it in that far corner. 1 0, 12 minutes gone. It's looking good. Early signs are happy signs. So, yeah, we might make a couple of changes at half time. Not something I normally do. Uh, but again, rotation is important. Someone like Cristiano uh, de Oliveira may well come off at half time just because I want to be able to play him in the next game on Tuesday. This is a Sunday game. I mean, who schedules this shit? You might think, oh, why don't you play on Wednesday? Great question. I've got no idea. As we get to half time, really nothing has happened in the early stages of this match, uh, apart from the goal to us. I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep it up, and everyone looks extremely delighted. We've talked about it before. I don't know how you do that. Second half's underway. First half's going well for us, seven shots. Only one on target, and it was, of course, our goal. They've had one shot, one on target, and no goals. Uh, we've, we've passed the ball far more than they have. They're, uh, well, they're, they've played quite stokey, I dare say. So if they, if they score or equalise with a header, we'll know why. It's Feldmeier, though, bursts into the box. Ball into Manzo. Good grief, Feldmeier is on one. Scored the goal before, and this little run here. I mean, you've got to think, right? Football Manager is quite a... I don't know, it's quite a fast-paced game as it is when you play it in a faster speed. But the run from Feldmeier there is just electric. Plays it across. David Manzo, close range, doesn't miss from there. 2-0... And, yeah, I dare say, on 48 minutes, it's over. I've said that before, though, and then been bitten by it. So let's just see. 
Oh, yeah, we were going to make that change, weren't we? We'll do it now. Uh, Francis Green is going to come on for Oliveira, then. We're also going to bring on... We're going to make a couple more changes, I think. Aaron Voss for Kovalev, who's struggling for a little bit of fitness. And Aaron Voss really hasn't done anything for us. Is that a car outside? Is that... It's coming to get me. Oh, God. But Aaron Voss really hasn't done anything for us uh, throughout this save. We've had him for this, this season. It's not really performed. I've not given him that much opportunity. Cop exits have played a factor. Um, but when he has played, he's not really, he's not really impressed me. Impressed me. F 15 minutes impressed me. Hmm. 15 minutes very, very quickly became 5 minutes. And it's just going to be a routine 2 no win, which I'm delighted with. Please be a routine 2 no win. Don't, nothing, no funny business. John Lewis, the shop's just scored from a corner. I mean, he hasn't scored the corner. He scored, Feldman has put it in. He's having a good game. Uh, we'll look at it in three dimensions. But John Lewis, the shop, has popped in. I mean, th there must be some sort of pun there. John Lewis re related, maybe he's his sales target. His, well, his goal. <laughs> Whatever. I tried my best. I don't know. Um, it's 3 0. That's, that's essentially all you need to know. It's 3 0. We've done very, very well. And uh, yeah, really, this is this is like the prequel episode to the Porto game coming up next episode. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. 3 0. We've got back on the horse. We've beaten Everton. Uh, sorry, we've lost to Everton. We've beaten Stoke. Yes, get it the right way around. And now we go forward into the game against Reading, which again is another must win. Rotation is key. We've dominated that match. Makes me very happy. Just realised that this weekend was the Capital One Cup final. We probably should have been in that final, but we threw it away against City. Oh, God. Okay, Reading coming up. Let's do a little bit of rotation then. Let's enjoy this together. So, I mean, there's a lot of goals and assists in the, in the team so far. I said he's got 20 this year. 25 for Feldmeyer, but it's the middle of the pitch that I'm most concerned about. So, Vidal's going to come out for John Paul Searle. Francis Green is going to come back in for Hessing. Oliveira, who we kind of saved, uh, it will, will come back in as well. Uh, the shop for Anchor Brand, yeah. We'll keep our bumper, though. We'll only take one away. I think that's probably the safest thing to do. Um, we could play Barry, but he's struggling for fitness. Hausch, Nicholas Hausch. I mean, what a waste this was. What a bloody waste. I mean, Macaulay Kid. Do we give Macaulay Kid a game? Jesus Christ. Do I really give Macaulay Kid this game against Reading? For Feldmeyer, 12 goals, 25 assists. Just had an absolute stormer. And I'm like, should we give Macaulay Kid a go? You, you knew I was going to. Right, let's get Feldmeyer on the bench. We need him there. I think we're going to play Alan McKenzie. We're also going to give Alan McKenzie the start ahead of Andy uh, Andy Backhouse. He's not playing up front. David Manzo. So, and that, that's what we're going to play. I feel good about it. I mean, Kid and McKenzie up top they look like square pegs round holes. But we'll see how this goes. I mean, this could be a mistake. Rotation, it's called. I mean, was, should we have done this? All right, passionately say. Come on, lads. We'll qualify for the Champions League if we win here. Will we really? doesn't matter, though. But that's still good. All right, I'm going to go for a very passionate team talk. The most passionate team talk I could possibly give. There we go, then. Into the game we uh, begin. And Francis Quino and Cabrandon jump also. Get on the ball early. Look at that. We're passing it around beautifully. Ball out towards McCauley Kid, who hasn't played for Salford. I, I mean, is this his first start of the season? Pause this here. Has he played before? I can't, honestly, I can't remember. Try to look at the history of Macaulay Kid on Salford's homepage. That was weird. Uh, quite simply, no. Hasn't played for Salford for... <laughs> how many years is that? 14 years? Is that? It's pretty close. 14 years. And now I decide this game is the is the game for him. Jesus. Here he is there, Macaulay Kid. Left side, ball in. Mackenzie Caselli. Well, I'm not sure who gets the assist. I think Mackenzie will get it. Caselli with the goal, though. And it puts us in the lead. The ball in from Macaulay. They want a wicked ball. Maybe he's, the, he's a bit like Jeff Thomas. He's just got this ability to perform at any level. Macaulay Kid then brings it under his spell. Plays the ball in. Is this flicked on? Not really. I think that's probably a kid assist. Let's check that. There's no assist on it. There's no assist. We know it's Macaulay Kids. It's outrageous. We've just watched it together. We know. And they've taken it away from him. Oh, Reading with a chance. Ball played through. Well, still got Bamba with a little bit of an error. They were through on goal. Probably should have scored. Now, interestingly, we have Feldmar on the bench. And Caselli is one of those players that's struggling a little bit with fitness. And as I say that, he's on the ball. Ball played forward to Kovalev. He's got options in the middle. Out to Caselli. Kid! Macaulay Kid has scored! I mean, how has he scored? Macaulay Kid. That might be his first ever goal for Salford. And he played for us 14 years ago. McCauley Kid with the finish. Kovalev gets his, uh, his cross blocks. Caselli to the back post. McCauley Kid is there. Volley's home. He was a Salford through and through boy. We saw him very early. Not by our own doing. But there we are then. 2 0. McCauley Kid on the score sheet. He's got Jeff Thomas, uh, Jeff Thomas syndrome. I'm going to refer to that now. Players that play above their station. Jeff Thomas syndrome. Have you got a player in your current football manager save that has got Jeff Thomas syndrome where. 
everything's telling you he shouldn't be able to perform at this level but still finds a way to produce the goods this kid plays it forward to Mackenzie now uh, and, and it's cut out but McCordy kid the hustle on the on the lad I'm loving it John Paul Searle into Sergio Kovalev now out towards McCordy kid they want to get him involved he's on the ball again kid ball in Mackenzie from close range Caselli with the finish and it's 3-0 before half time McCordy kid in my opinion is running the show the ball played here then to McCordy kid he gets it on the half volley Mackenzie with a flying volley Gutierrez with a fantastic save from Caselli though won't miss from there left footed 3-0 and it, uh, it keeps us on top of the table and even if Chelsea win their game in hand currently they will be behind us and that is all important 3-0 McCauley kid running the show it's like oh it's take me back to 2017 that's mental isn't it that is actually mental because in our life that's not even happened yet but in the context of the save it's 14 years ago or more than that I don't know my maths could be way off today <laughs> okay half time has been and gone and we continue forward here uh, and, and we're looking good Mackenzie's put himself about we're trying to like McCordy kid at every opportunity we're trying to get him involved Bamba's been well outfoxed and Renan's going to come out and get that now Renan where are you going to where are you going to put this plays it forward to Caselli heads down to Sergio and uh, Mackenzie running there wasn't his, his strong point and we might recycle this though you feel like Kovalev plays it through into Searle not quite getting there I do feel like Reading are, are quite dangerous on the break as Kavi comes forward Bamba with a good tackle ball in though and Chulkadidis Kadidis Kadis Kadis Chulkadis number nine for Reading scores straight after their goal though we come forward again Kovalev Oliveira options in the middle not a good delivery though at all and uh, Reading get the chance to break again they're playing on the counter attack it seems and they're doing it very very well Cowie from distance has a shot but wide I think at this stage we're going to bring on Feldmeyer we're actually going to drop Kid and Feldmeyer slightly deeper they can both naturally play there so why not and uh, everything else can stay the same. I think we're looking at Albamba. We're looking at Sergio. Maybe potential replacements to come on. Maybe Andy Backhouse. Okay, McKenzie with the ball at his feet. Lovely ball out to Feldmeyer, who we know has got pace to burn. But we go back inside and switch the ball all the way back across as Francisquino brings it inside. Right footed, of course, so he will do that. Searle into Kovalev. Oh, he should score. Should score. Okay, about 10 minutes left to go. We've got a, we've got a throw in over on that side. We'll try and make this change and get back to it as quick as possible. Uh, Backhouse is, is going to come on for Bamba in the end. Sergio into Kid. Kovalev there. McKenzie. Oh, McKenzie with a chance to score in the Premier League. Doesn't quite get it. I think his goals have come in so far in the uh, in the cup competitions. As Feldmeyer delivers the corner. Cleared. And, well, if they, if they play this right, they'll get this away. But, no. It's been a very even game. We've had more shots on target. Yeah, we've had more clear-cut chances. But overall, relatively even. Possession's been even. Chances have been relatively even too. As Kovalev goes close. Oh, we should score again. Um, so yeah, Reading a, a tad unfortunate. But when McCauley kids on this sort of form, it's, it's only, one way, only one way this can go. Ball played in again. Maybe one more goal. Kovalev strikes and Sergio puts in the rebound. 4-1. Very convincing. And a very convincing episode. We've had uh, more and more of these as the series has continued. We started off having very kind of win one, lose one, draw one, lose one. Uh, win one lose one situations but now we're having more wins back to back I think we had one last episode we've had one this episode as well um, ironically enough the game we lost was, was away from here we, we lost to Everton um, so yeah looking good uh, clearly on the top of the table five points clear and as I've always said people it's better to have points on the board I think that's probably the first time I've said that as the time ticks down then that's going to be it Kovalev plays it to McKenzie who will have the final touch and there it is then Reading 1 Salford City 4 and we continue and press forward in our hope for a, a famous treble I'm counting the, uh, the Community Shield did we win the Community Shield? we didn't even win it did we? we didn't even win it it'll be a double then it'll be a famous double Let me get annoyed about a potential Champions League win oh the Super Cup that counts yes famous treble thank you okay then folks that does bring us to the end of the episode uh, next time around we will be seeing Porto and a Premier League game in display with it so uh, hopefully you'll join me for that if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like uh, if we could aim for just, just uh, hit the, the classic thousand if you can hit a thousand likes that would be magnificent I'll show you lots of love with love with care from me not to mention until next time I'll see you again very very soon goodbye oh emotional